Hello everybody, yes, you are back with the captain on the boat. Hey, I missed you guys, but you are back with the crew. Today, as you probably saw in the title, we're going to talk about XRP and the AMM, and I'm pretty excited about it all, as you all are. I'm not at all trying to throw shade on it. This isn't a downer video. This is an awesome video. But I would like to stress that we need to take a step back. You know, we didn't cure cancer or anything here. But it's incredible. It's something that's going to be, it's been long uh, waited. Uh, I think you, many of you have uh, heard me discuss, they've been talking about market makers in many different ways. Uh, and they've talked to people that we may or may not have talked about in the past, learning about how market makers work, about how they could use it to their advantage, and all of that good stuff on this channel before. Today is not that. Today we're gonna talk about my phone blew up. Holy smokes. I mean, I know it was kind of a downer like uh, last month, two months ago, when everybody was voting it down, but that's why we have these test runs. We figured out a bug. We found something in it. Let's not run it if we know we're going to have bugs in it. This is the beauty of what I'm talking about in this video. I'm not sh throwing shade on this thing at all. That's not at all what I'm trying to achieve in this video. What I'm trying to say is there are certain companies, there are certain protocols, there are certain people that uh, believe in taking things slow, methodically, and implement the new tech being implemented correctly. Uh, a company that comes to mind with this is Cardano. They're not out there running out and then having the crashes that like Solana has and those kind of things. That's what I really love about what we've done with this whole thing. I'm so glad they voted it in. I'm so glad they found what, whatever the problems were to uh, go forward with us. This is massive. This is huge news. It's not news now, but you know, last week it has been. This is going to do a lot for us in the sense that you're not going to have to put your, I'm going to get back to putting your coins at risk is what I was about to say, but I'm going to get back into that. But what I mean is when these ETFs come about, you're, gonna, you're not going to have to buy an ETF to make money off your coins. You're going to be able to do it through your own wallet, through other decentralized avenues that we're going to be able to generate a monthly income from. This is in its infancy. This is, there are many programs that are way ahead, okay? This isn't cutting new technology, but it's really bad sometimes when you're the first guy through the door. <laughs> it doesn't go well for you. What I love is they're not the first guy through the door. I mean, XLM's way ahead of them in, the, in this sense, but what I mean is they've taken their time, they've done their homework, they've checked it all out. We, we know where we're going with this. It's going to be a profitable thing going forward. Now let's talk about money management. Let's talk about what it means to you and I and our wallets and our back wallet pocket thing that we used to call wallets. Anyway, we need an income revenue, a stream. So it was going to be, up until this week, with many coins, uh, it was going to take you putting your coins at risk. This is not going to be the case in the future. What I want to talk about today is you're not rushing in being second guy through the door and figuring this out with your entire wallet portfolio. Please do not do that because this is new. This is, there's no liquidity in it. The pool is only, I don't know, I, I, what was it? 1.5 or whatever it was. It's tiny. It's tiny, guys. Okay? We're like 300% less than XLM at this point. You don't want to get in this thing until there's billions in it, not millions in it. And this is just my opinion on this, right? Because... You earning a monthly income is going to happen. We got that. 
But let's not forget where you're going to earn your money is XRP number go up. That's where the value of what you own is. This is an avenue in which you can earn from so that you don't have to give your coins to the system, to the man, if you will, and give them rights over it and hope that you can get some borrow against it. They could take, potentially end up with your coins and then you could be without your XRP. Nobody wants that. What we're looking at now is you're looking at a place for you to generate monthly income. All great stuff. Most of us don't have a massive portfolio to where that's going to actually pay our bills at this point, but it could in the future down the road. So don't get too excited. Don't be the second guy through the wall. And what I'm trying to say is your real wealth generation is going to come from XRP going from 50 nine cents whatever it is today 62 cents to six dollars and then sixty dollars and then six hundred dollars that's where your generational wealth is going to come from let's not mistake that let's not try and convince ourselves because i know it's been tough being a holder of xrp because everybody else number go up and we just sit there we bounce around 50 to 70 cents, and it's like, what are we're not getting here? I mean, everybody's having fun but us. We don't get to have we, uh, what's in it for me. What did, you know, what do I get out of the deal? I know. So don't get too carried away right away. I got so many emails. I was telling you my phone blew up. It's been crazy. It's been awesome. Let's remember there's been so many other coins and platforms that have done this that you're going to learn about all the ins and outs and how quickly you can generate money through these decks and other avenues. You're going to eventually build wealth with this, but you're going to have to retain your coins and you don't want to lend them out and lose them in any other way. Okay. So many different avenues to make money going forward. DeFi is not dead. DeFi never did fail us, okay? This concept that these oracles running this in the DeFi was a failure in any way was ridiculous. It just it blew Wall Street's mind how efficient and how good it was that they did everything they could to make it look bad and I don't want to talk about the conspiratorial side of exactly what went on with the whole deal with Gemini and Celsius and all those different things that failed, okay, with DeFi. We're not there now. We're now with an ETF and Wall Street's in it and there's nine different successful ETFs and Wall Street's involved and Wall Street's looking for new avenues to generate money and they're going to use crypto because nobody wants to buy those old stinky bonds and everybody who's got a cell phone in their hand understands that we're probably not going back to bonds unless they can make bonds that is easy as sending a text. And that's coming. That is something I'm going to talk about in the future. So I kind of know a little bit of something about that and what they got planned and where they're going with that. And we've talked about that in the past. So today's video, I really want you guys to focus on where are you? Are you trying to get rich by making a couple of tenths of a penny off each one of your coins at potential risk? No. I know it hasn't been easy to be an XRP holder. I get that. Do not do anything crazy now, okay? Because the future of this bull run coming, once Bitcoin's done raging like a bull that it is, all of those profits from that is going to trickle down to the top 10 coins as we talk about on this channel all the time. That happens every four years. We know about it every three and a half years. It's going to happen again. It's going to happen to the coin near you. And you happen to own one of the ones that now will probably have the legal battles behind it before the end of this bull market. And that's just another kicker for you and the coin in which you own. Don't lose sight of the fact that your coin is so important to you. Do not put it at risk. Not saying, 
AM MS are at all risky. I'm just saying, do not get impatient and do not be the person who's worried about making tenths of a penny right now because what you own is more important to the future of banking and transactional fees than even these AMMs. It's big, it's big, the movement of money around the planet. You're going to be compensated for that in ways that are going to change you and your family's life. Please do not lose sight of that because a lot of people try and create things from something and then they lose the principle, if you will. The original, sorry, there's a big jet flying over right now. Fighter jet, sounds like. Don't lose sight of the fact that what you own is so important to the future of mankind that you're eager to put it at risk to generate minuscule income today just to get ahead. It doesn't make sense. I never believed in it with doing it with any of the other coins and I'm not suggesting that you do it now. If you're going to do it and you want to dabble in it and you want to play around with that stuff, do not put even, I can't tell you, it's not financial advice. I would not put 10% of my portfolio into it at this point. I may come out and do a video next week and say, hey, you know what? It all checks out. It looks really good to me. I don't know why you're not doing it next week. I doubt it. There isn't that much information on it. But the biggest thing that I want everybody to remember is this pool is tiny, guys. There's not a bunch of liquidity in it. I know that's the beauty of XRP is we have an endless liquidity pool. What I'm talking about is people that are putting their money in and it's a tiny amount. It's going to grow very, very fast and very rapid. How do I know that? Because XRP has a lot of people and a lot of people hold XRP and there's a lot of people in the banking system that are buying XRP as you and I know and the systems are lining up for it. And when the true launch and when the true reality of all the people who understand what that coin means to the future of all banking, it's going to blow people's minds. And that's when you're going to want to hold the asset that's when you're going to want to own it outright. And that's what you already own is the future of all banking transactions. Just thought I'd do a quick little update on so many questions I got from it. I'm trying to learn everything I can about it. It's a really deep subject. There's so many great people involved. Don't listen to me or anyone else. Do your own research, figure it out for yourself and find out and if you got great links, send them to me. I cannot find a lot on it because it's just been passed and there's not a lot of people are using it. I can look at other protocols. Divi comes to mind. Divi's been doing this for two, three years that I know of. And Divi's just kind of a project not a lot of people know about. But they've been doing this thing and with Uniswap and all these other coins. And it's just a beautiful thing and it's working out really well. Not necessarily for Divi because they're kind of a smaller known name. But what I'm saying is what's going to happen to XRP, this growth curve, in my opinion, for this through Uniswap and others. I did a video a few months ago talking about the liquidity of that, how Uniswap was working more and more and more with Ripple and XRP coins. And they were using this as this giant liquidity pool. Somebody sent me this, I can't remember who it was, might have been Sean, but somebody sent me this chart and it was like, I had no idea. That was right before Christmas. And I was like, I had no idea. I had no idea how much money was moving in that and out of that. And it's big guys, it's coming to a wallet near you. Hope you guys got something from that. If you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. I never say that enough. And uh, thanks, guys. I will be back soon. I am out. So not too long ago, there was this guy. And he, uh, he pulled up to the dock. And as soon as he did, I, I, he, I could tell he'd probably never driven a boat before and uh, you know my spidey senses just clicked and I said I better watch this guy and it was a few boats away so I wasn't really I could help him with immediately sure enough he uh, 
slammed into the dock and then slammed into the boat next to him and then immediately put it virtually full throttle in reverse and nearly fell out of the boat. And I thought, oh my God, this is bad. I felt so bad for the guy. And then he tries to tie it up and he fell in the water with the motors running. Yeah. So at this point, I, I can't get to him. I, it's impossible for me to get to him without swimming. And I thought, this is, this is bad. This is really bad. He fell in the water. He got out of the water. And I noticed he had cowboy boots on. Yeah. Cowboy boots on a boat. That's your first clue. That's, that's when you know you're dealing with a fish out of water. Yep. Yeah, that's, uh, that was a big, big, big flare. So he uh, fell in the water again, but I tripped over the line he just tied and half fell in the water again. Tied one line to the boat and walked off the dock and I never saw the guy again. Left the boat running. Talk about a bad day. Whew. Man, you know, it's really hard to look cool when something like that happens to you. Trust me, I've been there. Love you.